Jerusalem. The massive underground labyrinth Hamas has dug is so threatening that Israelis have called the structures terror tunnels in past wars. This underground world of passageways, weapons caches and escape routes beneath Gaza may now be even scarier. Choose your plan arrow right as Israeli ground troops advance to encircle Gaza City. Both sides may find themselves engaged in a three-dimensional urban war. Fighters can fire from the roofs of shattered buildings, through rubble-strewn streets, and underground warrens. Military analysts say all of this may be happening in neighborhoods still populated by civilians, including children. Israeli officials estimate there are 1,300 tunnels stretching 300 miles across the Gaza Strip, which is only 25 miles long. The military describes network as one of the most elaborate underground networks in world. It is said that there are underground shelters under hospitals in Gaza. Palestinian doctors denied this. Israeli military protocol generally prohibits regular ground troops from entering tunnels because of the very high chance of being killed or captured. The Israelis have witnessed their soldiers being captured and dragged into the tunnels. So the likely strategy would be to try to destroy them from afar. Ali Baraka, a senior Hamas leader who lives in Beirut, said in an interview with the Washington Post last week that fighters are underground waiting for the fight. He claimed that there were 40,000 militants in the Is al-Din al-Qassam brigades, the military arm of Hamas, and 20,000 militants in other groups. Addressing the Israeli army, he said, they cannot handle 60,000 people, excavated for decades with hand tools. The Hamas crossings are reinforced with precast concrete and contain trolleys for trolleys, electric lighting, communication nodes and ventilation fans. Most are narrow from elbow to elbow and are just long enough for a short man. However, some are wide enough for small vehicles. Past wars show that many of the tunnels can be booby-trapped. There are so many tunnels that Rear Admiral Daniel Haggery a spokesman for Israel Defense Forces, called the underground system Gaza Metro. These tunnels can allow Hamas fighters to quickly redeploy, resupply, rearm, evacuate the wounded, and escape over significant distances, not just from street to street. Hamas leadership has emphasized that the tunnels are not intended for civilian use as air raid shelters. Hamas insists the network is for fighters only. Footage taken in 2014 shows people passing through tunnels in Gaza. Israeli officials estimate there are 1,300 tunnels stretching 300 miles across the Gaza Strip. Israeli forces had already engaged in armed s with Hamas militants emerging from the tunnels. The Israel Defense Forces, or IDF, said its air force also hit suspected tunnel sites while targeting Hamas commanders. Intensiving of the Jabalia refugee camp in recent days has left huge craters that mark Garlasco, a military A.